Beethoven Sonata Opus 31, number two, Tempest. We want to talk about some technical difficulties and uh, we all know uh, the problem with the repetition at the beginning. Uh, if you see it from the technical point, you have just the adagio chord to warm up and these are only two bars, so it's not enough to really be warmed up and you have to do uh, these repetitions. And um, very important, I think, is always have in mind it's allegro, it's not a presto. You ha don't have to rush, you have to play it really in an allegro tempo and not molto allegro and not allegro con brio, allegro. Uh, just show the beginning. the repetition was 4-3 yeah. and um, well I think in this special case uh, we can be happy if it works and so we don't have to care about the fingering we have to find a solution that it works yeah. and with your uh, um, interpretation it works very well uh, Mare Pereira um, wrote 3-2 for the yeah. repetition and we just tried it out um, can you just show how it looks and how it works with 3-2 slowly Yes, if, uh, yeah. if you can play it in oh, tempo. Okay. Yeah, this even works very well. If I am um, very, very critical, I would think this was even better. Oh, okay. But, uh, well, I, it, it's up to you. I think oh. there is... Uh, a moment where uh, a fingering is just a proposal and we are free to find a way to do it. If you play one note with your nose, it's possible. And, um, but uh, please show the audience how you practice it. Okay. I practice this passage very slowly at first. And then I made some like rhythmical uh, very, very end. Variation? Variation, yeah. yeah. Like... Mm -hmm. So like something like this, mm -hmm. and I think it's very good for concentration because we has the jumps from here. It's yes. one octave jumps. And then if we like just practice so fast, we will not have time to concentrate on the jumps here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but, but but what I like very much, you play slowly, but you play with emotion. Yeah. And I think this is also very important. If you practice a technical uh, moment, you should always have the music in mind mm. uh, and uh, try to um, include crescendi and. Yeah. Uh, uh, preparation for a fermata or whatever. And this comes out very, very good. Um, okay, then uh, this one. your approach technically to, to this? How do you do it? Yeah. First, I had the problem in this passage so many times because when I play it in the fourth hip, I, I would make some mistakes like... Yes. Oh, yeah. But I, uh, I just asked Mr. Tansky and then he just said to me, like, I can solve, solve this problem by uh, not connect D and F together. Mm -hmm. Just um, and then put my hand out and then bum, bum, in another direction. Like, oh, yeah, bum, 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 like this. Yes, and yeah. it works. And it works yeah, much yeah. better than just... Yes, uh, yeah. 
And, and what is also important, I think, uh, you play the right hand really wonderful. It's a kind of uh, tremolo, uh -huh. and it should not be a, not sound like a <laughs> that you yeah. hear this so much and you can't follow the melody, mm -hmm. especially when the piano comes yeah. uh, with the overtaking hands. Uh, can you show it again? And uh, also here we should have in mind at the beginning mm -hmm. it is forte, not yeah. fortissimo. Yeah? And uh, well, later in the development we have the fortissimo. And uh, well, I think there it is important to shape the different chords. It's like yeah. in a choral where some chords are more important than the others and you have a solution and you have a tension and uh, so in the development it should not be always the same loudness ah, yeah. and it would be um, just see yeah this passage uh, when you, you start with the fortissimo but then here is forte in brackets and then it could be more and more and more but not always the same can you show it For me, I think like uh, yeah, in the first F sharp minor is uh, the Grundstellung is the how to say Grundstellung the root Grundstellung, position yeah, of the chord because we position, have, yes. and the second we have like uh, is is the third uh, the second inversion yes. and then we have again F sharp minor but is in the first first inversion and then we have B minor. It's in the root position, Even so it more, can yeah, be much yeah. more strong. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think it comes out wonderful. And uh, oh. so uh, always, and this is yeah. also my proposal for a lot of pianists, uh, don't play too loud. It, it yeah. is violent, it, it is strong, but it should not destroy uh -huh. uh, the piano. Yeah. And uh, well, I once had a student in a master class and he really <coughs> destroyed the F sharp, and, uh, at, at least he had yeah. a key in his hand. Oh this should not happen. Um, well, uh, could you um, uh, uh, show the Largo, uh, this uh, Con Espressione again, how you touch this pianissimo with the pedal? You change the pedal very slightly. Mm -hmm. um, what what are you doing that it is going through? Uh, mm -hmm. I think for the pedal, I I I hear the sound. Mm -hmm. I have to hear the sound very carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't have to make the sound like I don't want the sound to be yeah, like this. Yeah. So I need to reshen, but just very little. Mm -hmm. Not not the whole uh, not the whole change, yeah. but just and, very little. And the left hand. And then I. And then I like I put my left hand. Yeah. I never like take my left hand off, yeah. so I can sustain the sound of yeah. A major chord. It, it comes. Yeah. Yes. And it's. Yeah. I think it's very wonderful yeah. way to do it. I yeah. would always propose to when when you practice this that you just take a in this case uh, this chord and then you improvise. this and of course it depends on the piano uh -huh. and uh, it's maybe it's different from piano to piano yeah and uh, but uh, this is right this is a, a thing of trying out and uh, listening mm -hmm. yeah very good um, the end
Tiene. Can you show the left hand because this is always yeah. a big problem. I did like the thumb again. Ah, uh, then you. Yeah, yeah, because I want the sound like. Um, Try to oh, avoid yeah. an accent, but it works. Yeah. Good. Okay, second movement. I think if you have a wonderful cantabile and you have good um, chords, yeah, yeah. then there is a less technical problems. Mm. But uh, this one where you go over with the left hand, it's really a problem. And can you just show some bars from the beginning? as soft as possible. Yes. Actually, yeah. And I try to like just concentrate on the melody on mm -hmm. my right hand. Because if I if I just concentrate on my, my left hand, my mind gonna be like yes, uh, yeah. it's I gonna be so so very busy on my yeah. mind. Yeah. So I just try to follow the melody and then mm -hmm. everything okay. gonna be okay. fine. The rest yeah. works by itself. Yeah. And yeah. the I think for me the most difficult passage is the tremolo in mm -hmm. the left hand, yeah. Because sometimes it works, sometimes it's not so even, and yes, sometimes yes. it's not so good. Yeah. So I practice like and, and then and then just once. And then yeah. and how about pedal in this tremolo? I don't use any pedal. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, left pedal. Left For pedal. Pianissimo. Uh, yeah. I use my left pedal. Mm -hmm. Of course. Like. Yeah. Yeah, and one can hear the the yeah. timpani yeah. doing it, and also on the on the my right hand is like the wood some woodwinds or some brass, yes. and it's contrast with my mm -hmm. left hand is. thing is to play the legato as possible in the right hand yeah yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and not to be too shy to show expression sure, yeah. and cantabile yeah you do wonderful and, uh, and so maybe it helps also to practice such things yeah. uh, sometimes in mezzo forte ah, the yeah. melody like, uh, yes and also without pedal when i practice i practice yeah. like, and try to connect the melody mm -hmm. yes um, with Silent finger change, yeah. if possible. Yeah. So then you have uh, done an uh, important step to be a good organist, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and a uh, third movement? Third movement. What would you think? What what's, would be... The uh, hardest thing is the jumps. In the, the, yeah. There are so many jumps. Uh, yeah. Can, can you show this? Passage. Yeah. Like... Uh, Hand in this message. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very hard. What, yeah. what do you do to practice uh, such a jump? Uh, yeah. uh, do you take time or do you speed up? What, what are you doing? I just practice slowly. Okay, actually. Yeah, and then I, show yeah, us. I play like. my left hand in this passage. I practice like something like this. Ah, okay, so you yeah. play double chords instead yeah. of uh, only... And sometimes like... Ah, okay, yeah. good. And also... Also, the most trickiest thing in this moment, I think, is the chromatic in the end. 
for me yeah, yeah. at the end. The quality uh, is very uh, hard. Show us uh, this. Yeah, because sometimes when I play, I play so many mistakes. Like well, something in, is gonna be in the score. Me. It's written to do yeah. it with both hands. Yeah. yeah, but I think this is a big risk. Yeah. I would take the the um, first D with the left hand and then you play an octave. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I did like yes. this. Also, the left hand is I think it's quite so risky. So we have to practice hands separately. Yes. Like. And also maybe uh, if even if it's uh, uh, fortissimo, uh, leading with the right hand yeah. and. Uh, not so much care for the left hand. Uh, mm -hmm. It should follow. Uh, can you show? Yeah. But I'm um, here. Uh, um, I think it should uh, um, be strong at the at the beginning, and then. of the sonata remaining for a moment on the keyboard without moving or finish and get up stand up and bowing what is it depends on the feeling of yeah it's depends on the feeling yeah. i think yeah we don't have to think so much because the performance will not come so very natural if we think yes, so much yes yeah. is right yeah. yeah this is one of your really uh, uh, great qualities ah, yeah. and uh, one can hear you have such a a passion and a joy to play <laughs> and uh, this also gives me oh, a lot of yeah. passion and joy for you thank you thank you, thank you so very much, much.